Guys, we're going to be showcasing a little bit of jQuery today. We're going to show how to make a simple to-do list using jQuery. So you see right here, here's a perfect example we're doing. We're going to add something using jQuery. So let's say uh, take out the trash. Oops. Um, we want to clean the garage. So there's a few things going on here. But um, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And uh, we can... You know we're not going to make it super super intense but uh if you've never worked with uh javascript in eclipse i'm using eclipse mars so go ahead and create yourself a new uh, javascript source file and we're going to name this one to do list.html oops excuse me uh so we want to create a new html file um, i'm not going to worry about css for this if you want to, um, if you want to style it, um, style it yourself, or use something like Bootstrap to get it done. So here's our standard to-do list here. Uh, we also are going to create a new JavaScript source file, and we'll just go ahead and call this to-do list.js. Finish. So here is. We'll just delete this code. So what do we need to do in regards to getting this set up? It's pretty straightforward. Um, first thing we can do is just go ahead and give the ti the page a title since it's already in here. So we'll call this to to do list dash uh, jQuery. So there's our title. So we also want to be able to run the script JavaScript. So in order for us to do that, we have to say the script type. I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in here. So that basically gives us access to saying read our script as text slash JavaScript. And here is the link, the source for our script. And then we're going to need to go ahead and do the same thing for our JavaScript file. So we're going to need to go script and we'll set uh, type equal to text slash JavaScript and then close it there's the ending tag and don't forget the src and that's going to be equal to 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 do list.js so so far we've set up the basic basic uh html for the uh to do list maybe we want to start off by doing a little bit more html giving h1 header here and we'll just say to do list and if we really wanted to get fancy earlier i did it like this small and then we'll do dash j dash uh, jquery cool so we just have a h1 and a small and it's our to-do list let's go ahead and back that up and so there's our thing so what do we want to do the way we're going to set up our javascript is we're going to create a unordered list and uh, we want to be able to call to it so we'll just give a standard name like to-do list and, and so we can initialize the variable if we want but that's not what we want to do in here Generally, you want to try and have as little text as possible in your HTML. We, we really want to focus more on the JavaScript side of things. So there's so a couple things we um, also need to do. We need to have like a, um, a box to put text. So we need an input type. So let's go input type and set this equal to uh, text because that's all we want. We also want to give it an ID and we can set this equal to um, add to list. So that will be our ID and input types are self uh, closing. And then we also want to add a button to, to submit it. So not only will you have a box to put the text in, but we also want a button and we need to, we're going to need to call to both these. So that's why we're giving them IDs and we'll just put add on this because that's really what the button is and then we want some text on it we can say add to list and if we want we can give it a placeholder here we'll say placeholder equals um, 
enter item to do. And actually, let's capitalize all those. To do. Okay, so this is it. This is all we need for our, and if we wanted to, we can probably add a br slash. That's what I did earlier because it looked a little jumbled. Um, so how, how do we get started on our JS? So by now we should have pretty much it memorized how we initialize a, a uh, JavaScript uh, file. So document.ready function, bam, bam. So here we are. So what do we want to do? We want to call the click function when this is equal to add. So first we have to call on that. So we want to say select the variable or select the um, HTML element or ID add. And when we click on it, so select our button and when we click on it, we want to oops, call a function that's going to do some stuff as well. All right. So what is it that we want to do? So in our input type, we have an ID add to list. So So here we want to take that input and we want to store it in a variable. There's a couple different ways to do this, but this is the easiest way. way. So we're going to say var um, new list item equals, we need to set it equal to the variable in there, which we named add to list. So add to list. Did we do all lowercase? Yeah, we did. Okay, so I'm already messing up. Add to list. And then we want to get the value of it. So that will just set it up as a string for us. And so now we basically have a string that's equal to our input. Now what do we want to do with that? Well, we don't want it to just keep on adding empty items. So first thing we may want to do is add an if statement that's going to check the length of this. So now list item, and there, I mean there's a bunch of guess and check, but for me this is enough for right now. So we're going to check is it greater than zero? If so, this is where the code we wanted to do. So, so far we've got the value of our input. We're checking to see if it's not null or it's empty because we don't want to add anything empty to the list. And next we want to add to our to-do list. So remember here we created our to-do list UL. So we want to append to that and add an LI instance. So let's go ahead. We called that the to-do list. All right. So we're going to select to-do list and we're going to dot append. So we're going to add some stuff to it. And what do we want to add? We want to add a, a list object, but we also want to add the um, new list item and then we of course we have to close it so here we are here we have a new list item and we've added it so let's go ahead and continue on here and we'll test all this out in a second but so we check it's it's not empty we append it so that it adds a new list item to the list what else can we do? Um, there's a bunch of things you can do, but for the the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it clears the input bar. Otherwise, it would just keep on having the same input, and that's not really what we want. We want it to we want it to look somewhat good. So if we add take out garbage, it's not just going to keep on saying take out garbage, and we're this way it will, we won't be able to double click to add it twice accidentally or anything like that. So what we're going to do is this was add to list. So we're going to select add to list. And we are all now going to dot val. And when, same thing here, except now when we, ex, when we select it, it's going to let, when we put in the parameter, it's going to override it. So first it's going to add it to the list, and then it's going to override the, pl the placeholder, or the, not the placeholder, 
but the value that's in there so it's going to clear up so let's go back and see where we're at so this was um, if you don't know to have realize how to run this you can go to wherever your workspace is so here for me it's users Dylan um, workspace uh, apply jQuery uh, to do list study channel so properties so just go ahead and copy the location and then you just have to add the throw it in the bar here so there's that slash oops excuse me we want to we want to slash to do list dot html so there it is there's our to do list um, and our item to do there's our placeholder and our button and so if this is working properly and it seems to be it's not going to automatically add it so let's go ahead and add and like i said this isn't perfect but let's go ahead and add some spaces and so it's still not going to add it which is good i believe so all right now let's just put uh garbage take out garbage so okay so something's not working so what is going on here so let's check our work here we have add to list we are selecting our add enter item to do so we're trying to append it so Let's see if that will fix it. So refresh our page. So we're still having an issue here. So we have to do list.js. I think I found where my error was. When we were comparing the length of the text, we actually forgot to put the dot length function on it. So I, I'm not sure, but I believe that may be where we were having an issue so we'll just put D add to list oh my god that's not it what is going on here so I have a earlier example here I'm gonna refer to that was the one that we did so we're saying our new list item text dot append li another error I seem to have made here is I forgot to tell this the name that properly so hopefully this will fix it so little errors like these still not adding it hmm? so this is why you need to follow standard naming conventions uh, took a second here and I noticed that I accidentally probably not accidentally added a capital L here and didn't do it over here so now I'm hoping 12 errors later there we go so now we can add to add to it and in this case when we refresh it because we're not storing anything in database, it's just pure HTML. We're gonna do take out the garbage, add to list, and you can see here it cleans it out and puts the the old placeholder in. So that was a bit of our let's make a from scratch jQuery to do list. And of course, you could probably add a delete method, and you could add a you know user account, and you could do all this crazy stuff, but this is our standard basic create a to-do list in jQuery. So in the next video, I'll either elaborate more on this or maybe create a shopping cart type of thing where it will actually calculate your prices as well as you go. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.